Hi, I'm William Wynn, field agronomist in Southwest Wisconsin. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, water hemp control in your soybean fields. Uh, this year it's been, with, with my travels across the territory, really noticed water hemp being a big issue in our area. So this time of year, here in late August, is a good time to go out and observe your herbicide program of this past year and see what we can improve on in 2019. Looking at water hemp as a whole, what makes it so difficult to control is its long germination period. Uh, water hemp generally starts germinating around the end of May and virtually keeps germinating until the end of July. So that makes it really difficult to control throughout the season. My main points of emphasis for anyone uh, raising soybeans would be start clean and stay clean. By doing this, uh, the easiest water hemp to control is the ones that never emerge. So for a herbicide program, what I would recommend uh, starting out with a solid pre-program, whether that be in light or sonic, and then coming back 30 days later uh, with post-emerge application, uh, depending upon uh, your soybean herbicide traits, uh, coming back with a product called Everprex, which would be a group 15 herbicide, and whether that be with uh, glyphosate or uh, fexapan or maybe just uh, PPO, if you're growing conventional beans, uh, should give you solid control, such as this field here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your Pioneer sales representative. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.